What's up, YouTube? It's F and Awesome Gaming here. Come and talk to you about uh, the players in NCAA 12 and the way they look and stuff. It's strictly appearance vid. It has nothing to do with the gameplay style, so I don't want y'all to think that we're just nitpicking at stuff. We're just pointing out things that could be improved and also talk about things that were good in the game originally. So, um, getting right into the appearance appearance I mean you got your standard height and weight and your skin tone and stuff like that but um one of the biggest issues with like the next gen NCAAs is the fact that I have to have a helmet on my head when I'm creating my person like I can't see my face and choose my own hairstyle and then you go over like why do I have to go to light for and I get this white guy with a slanted edge I can't choose my hairstyles I mean, it's just not right. And I, I, in order to get dreads, I, I turn dark. I can't have dark one, can't have dark two. Now I got to go all the way to dark 12. And once I get there, go to dark 12 and look. Now I got dreads. I don't, I don't understand that. Why can't I have dark one and have dreads? And then if I put my weight down to like 180, 170, I still have dreads but last time it didn't do that last time the dreads went away let's try 160 i still have dreads i don't know what's wrong with it but earlier dreads went away so anyway there's a problem with that it needs to be fixed it needs to be where you could just pick what style of dreads you want when you want them things like that um another thing and then if i put my height down now all of a sudden i can only be in nine different skin colors I don't understand that very much. There's 32 if I'm 6'3". And then another thing, uh, white people. Why can't we have long hair? There's a lot of white people have long hair. Clay Matthews has long hair, for example. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just not right. A lot of white people have long hair. And then, um, keep going through that. Back to the dreads, though, man. Um, I think it's kind of stupid that all the dreads have to look like it's something like coming out of the Predator movie or something. Like, I don't understand that. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And that needs to be fixed. I mean, I don't know if anybody else caught that. They need to get kind of dreads like uh, Terrence Parks, like hanging down in the front. Or the little short dreads coming out the back like uh, Greg Cooper. Or you could have the the pony dreads coming out the back, like Travis Benjamin. And then um, there was also a problem though, like yeah, y'all totally messed up on giving some players dreads that didn't have dreads, and then some players that supposed to have dreads, y'all to give them to them, like uh, Denard Robinson, for example. We had to go give him dreads, and then he had to gain 20 pounds to get them. So, I mean, y'all kind of dropped the ball with that one. But, um, anyways, getting into the uniforms, uh, start off with the helmets. You know, got a lot of good helmets in the game, some new helmets, the standard, the Air XP, which I think is kind of a knockoff of the Atoms. Um, the Shut, which has been around. Um, we got the Revo, of course. Uh, the DNA, the Revo Speed, and did a good job with getting in more face masks on the Revo Speed, kind of like Madden did last year. And then this new Ion 4D, which has some cool face masks. I don't know, some people may not like them, but I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, another thing though. On the visors, like, y'all should have Adidas visors for the Adidas teams because they don't wear Oakley visors. They wear Adidas visors. So it don't even make sense why Oakley visors are in the game. Um, also, the neck pad. Like, what happened to the washboard neck pad? Like, that used to be my thing. Like, some of my favorite players uh, wear the washboard. Like, um, Nigel Bradham, for example, at Florida State. Like, right there. Um, supposed to have a washboard night pass. So I don't know what happened to that. And then we got um, 
basically just in general the way the, the player model is to me and i know a lot of other people feel the same way is like it just looks too big like the pads look too big on them so even i mean sometimes even when you put the pad height down it still look too big but um getting into like the accessories and stuff we got the gloves i see y'all added the team color gloves and stuff but then if i want to get gray gloves looks like i'm in you know doing the dishes or dusting off the plants outside or some shit i don't understand that and then you know back to more of the um team color gloves you know those are good but you need to be able to have them gray like why can't i have the vapors gray um tape hands are good as usual i mean no problems with that and then um getting into the um like the quarterback wrist though i feel like these are just outdated i mean this isn't 1997 anymore we do have new quarterback wrists they're much smaller sleeker with the little flap I like to see those get put in the game um kind of upgrade the look a little bit um what we got next going down into the uh the calf bands calf bands see first off they're not even supposed to be calf bands they're actually supposed to be knee bands and um the knee pads should be up a little bit higher because i mean that's how most skill players wear their pants but when y'all first added this in i thought it was going to be really cool but it just turned out not to be really cool. It's kind of lame. I mean, y'all should either lower them a little bit, give an option to wear it lower, or put it up higher like it should be. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I'm feeling about the calf bands. Um, something needs to be adjusted with that. Um, maybe an update or something. I don't know. I'd like to see that change in the near future. Um, getting into... The uh, the socks, y'all just should erase these because these suck. I mean, I don't know any college football players that wear these socks. If y'all want to keep them in, y'all can keep them in, I guess. But they definitely shouldn't be the default socks. I'm tired of every new year in my dynasty, every player in the NCAA is wearing these stupid socks. Uh, getting into the mid socks, those are good, but they're almost really how short socks should be. Um... I like to see the mid socks like have another option to go up a little bit higher, like those ones right there. Um, and then, like the high socks are good, but I mean, why not let us be able to layer socks? Like have high socks with some like mid socks over them or something, like uh, Alshon Jeffries wear them. You know, it's it's a it's a lot of things y'all can add to this game. Like I don't feel like enough emphasis is put onto the apparel and then um getting into the ankle tape like nobody spats up like this like that would probably cause some injuries spatting up like that i mean that's that's pathetic you should probably like extend it down on the foot and then this this is how it should be but now it looks like i got a cast on it looks like i broke my ankle like this guy i mean i don't want to be running around the football field in that it's probably gonna slow me down make me look bulky and then uh, getting into the cleats, like why can I only have one type of cleat? I either got this Under Armour low cut or this generic low cut. I mean, there needs to be more um, more cleat options. And then back plates, why not let them hang out a little bit? Like, you know, like so. I feel like if um, if the back plates were able to hang out, that'd be a really cool, fe uh, cool feature. And then hand warmers, I mean, there's cool addition, but why has it got to be in the front? I mean, why can't I wear it over to the side or put it on the back or something? Once again, I mean, it's something to think about. And then towels, why does it have to be on my right side? Why can't I put it in the front, put it in the back? Why can't it be a different color? I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm very limited in my apparel. Um, also, the Nike cleats, we need to see some of these cleats. You know, we need to have some, some solid color cleats. I mean, overall, though, it's a great game. And like I said, this wasn't a gameplay vid. This is just some of the um, apparel critiquing. I just wanted to, um, you know, let the world know about how 
FNA Gamings was feeling, you know. And um, there will be more vids up, probably critiquing gameplay in the future.